Hello everybody, it's Retro Gaming Now, and I'm going to be playing through Fate the Cursed King. Now I don't know if a lot of you guys watch me for my Fate videos, and I've played through the original Fate, and Fate the Traitor's Soul, which contains content from Undiscovered Realms. And as far as I'm aware, Cursed King is the final Fate game. I don't know if they made any more past this. Um, and right from the start it seems uh, to be a very different setting. It's got this sort of Middle Eastern sound. Um, so, let's get started. We can import our character. And you can see Voron the Glorious is the guy we ended up with last time. He was uh, the character we played in Trader Soul. And then, Tarmain the Unremarkable is his son. You can see he's a descendant. So we're going to go and import him. This is going to be the descendant of our character from the previous game. Let's get started. There is a crumbling well near the edge of town, where traveling merchants make their camps. As a child, you sat among them, enthralled by their songs and stories of noble heroes from faraway lands. These tales of great warriors and still greater deeds filled your heart with fire, and after every story, you resolved that the Champion of Grove would someday hear tales about you. Now, eager for adventure and the chance to hone your skills, you have strayed far from the safety of city walls. Seeking shade and cool water, you spot a narrow opening in the rock face, where a recent tremor has exposed a small cave. Upon entering the gloom, a faint glimmer draws you deeper down the passage. Your eyes adjust to reveal a very large old chest. There are glyphs upon the side, but you cannot make them out. Curious, you push against the heavy lid. At a hand's width open, the skin on your arms prickles in warning, but only when the lid crashes to the ground do you realize the gravity of your mistake. You have unsealed a tomb. A pale green vapor billows up to engulf you, and within seconds, the mists coalesce into a familiar shape. Once a man, perhaps, now twisted and evil beyond your imagining. Stories of heroes are never without villains, but the evil of Takala is described only in whispers. A necromantic priest, power-hungry and cruel, he was executed by the king when his treachery was discovered. The spirit does not speak, but a single thought fills the void. Vengeance. Then, with little more than a low rumbling groan, Takala is gone. Recovering your senses, you race from the cave. You must warn the town. You must warn the king. Moments later, a deafening explosion rips through the air. Your home. The once proud, beautiful city of Ekbatan lies in ruins. Enormous black rocks, disgorged from the earth, have smashed through walls and set fire to shops. Shining white columns have snapped like fresh reeds, their golden caps crushed against the rubble. The air is thick with dust and smoke, and worse still, it vibrates with a strange sighing buzz. Locusts, horrible and devouring. The focus of Takala's wrath must be the king. Find him and his advisors, and you will find a way to right this wrong. You must stop Takala and break the curse. For the hero of Ekbatan, there is no other fate. Alright, well, it looks like my character has caused some issues. Uh, perhaps more so than his father. His father kind of just walked into this. Alright. Looks like I've just gained a level, and that's because I'm a descendant. So I start out with a level already. So, what item did I send over? These earrings. Ah, uh, yes, dexterity, so, and charm. So I'm going to put these earrings on, and immediately, 
I'm going to have ridiculously high dexterity, almost double what it would be originally, uh, thanks to my father. So that means I should get a head start. Van Pike doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> um, so I'm going to start with a level up, and I'm going to start at a higher fame. Unremarkable is higher than the unknown because of my father, uh, Voram. So, I guess right from the get-go, we got to decide what do we want to do. I don't really know. We start with some sword and some spear skill. This might be a fun game to try spears out. Requires strength and dexterity. And of course, the default is just magic, so let's get our magic up there. We'll put an extra one in dexterity. I'm not going to do any skill points just yet. I think we'll think about that and sort of see how things uh, play out. But let's look around. We're in Ectaban, or what's left of it. Completely roasted and destroyed. You can see lots of different haunted palaces, caverns of living fire, and fishing. That's our favorite. Ooh. I figure out what's causing these slowdowns. Henchmen for hire. You can hire allies from the recruiter. If you're connected online, you can recruit your friends' characters too. Interesting. Well, I don't have anywhere near enough cash to do this, but this is, could be an interesting thing where you got you can hire characters to follow you around. I guess. Okay, he's a errand guy. Let's check him out. I speak to you now as nothing more than a lowly beggar. You must lift this curse, if not for me, then for my kingdom. Redeem yourself and restore our glorious city. So it's interesting. It seems like everything has voice acting. Oh, I got a spell. Haste a spell. spell has been learned. So things look a little bit different. We've kind of got that Middle Eastern feel to it. Xerxes a librarian. Okay, so I don't know what he wants me to do, but I'm going to accept it. A Waji from Caverns of Living Fire. Great Fire Jin on level 30. Okay, so this looks like it's the final quest for a realm. Enchantments cast here. Okay, so he's the Enchanter. Who do we have here? Nasor. You think you can help me, huh? First level. Shrine on the first level of Caverns of Living Fire. You have received a quest. So it looks like Caverns of Living Fire is where we're going to be heading to first. Keep the weapon, lose the gem. Well, at least he's straightforward about it. Wonder if they're brothers. Why don't we make an... Don't want to do a quest for level three. Strong. Oh yeah, I've already seen the recruiter. So I'm trying to figure out. Let's just look around a little bit. So we got a healer there. Magical items. There we go. Group resist ice. Ah, some new spells. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. One level four Tesla orb. What is that? Ground fire spell. Hmm. I'll be happy. This game might already seems to have some significant differences. Um, jeweler. This is a new, uh, a new profession. Anyways, it looks like they're trying to do some things really different in this game. Level one quest. Got a camel. Barova. Ah, yes, the gambler, our favorite. All right, there's our third level one quest. So once again, we can only have three quests. The Mystic. Okay, so she does tarot cards. So I guess those are still around. Omar, I know what Omar's going to do. Yes. What I'm looking for... ...is the guy where I can buy a fishing rod from. Because you know what we've got to do. we got to go fishing first. The achievements of heroes are... You must go online. Interesting. So I don't know if this has an online component to it. Wait a minute. 
That was a second. I see. This is probably for. To be honest, I could use some help. Ah, okay. So I can't do that, but it still does show me the quest. So I, I guess that's different. For a price. Sparkling gem. Here we go. Fishing poles. Allow you to fish where you see a cloud of fireflies. Fishing. Feed fish to your pet. Yes. That's what I was looking for. What do we got over here? A giant. Interesting. So now there's a guy who you can pay to identify stuff. Nuru the ghost. I don't want to go to the crypt of Takala just yet. That's cool. My pet attacks it too. So, Haunted Palace, that looks like a different one. So she's like the defender for that. It's like this is where we're going to go first. But, beforehand, we got to go fishing. What kind of fake game would it be without fishing? Let's see what kind of fish we've got. Looks like he's fishing in the ground. Fingerling Black Jackfish, so that's a... Um, not a bug free game. So it looks like fishing is going to be pretty standard. I just want to get five or six. So my pet has something uh, to transform into when we go into the dungeon for the first time. You found a gemstone. Alright, I'll just catch two more fish. Normally I spend all this time doing it off camera, but for right now, I kind of want to get going and see what this new dungeon is like. I have played this game a little bit before. Um, I think I did a quick look on it. Unidentified item. Alright, nice. Kenvo's companion. Well, I can't use it. But I can get rid of it. So... All right, that'll give us a little bit of cash. Pet. We'll do wyvern. Imp character start with five extra points and attack magic skill. All right, so we want to turn on reveal items. Let's get going. Caverns of Living Fire, level one. Healing orb, what's that? That looks like maybe it just heals you if you step on it. Did it put it? No, it didn't put it in my inventory. Loptopus. Yeah, so I think it's just kind of like a item that if you step on you get heal up, which is kind of nice. I guess sort of like a little bonus. Eleven gold. I noticed that the when it says eleven gold, it's a uh, gold-colored letters. That's pretty cool. The trap. Mantoid. Okay, so the Gloptopus we saw was new. And yeah, let's see. We got like these weird boils. I think it's funny. <laughs> they just splat out when they die. Ooh, lots of enemies around here. Oh boy. There's a swarm. Alright, need to. Retreat. Wow. That's a boss, must be his minions. Good thing I've got a counter to slow. Wow, my casting speed is slow. Oh no, that's cool. So look, it shows it shows that it's teal colored. You have completed the quest. So I know which to pick up. That's really nice. But this was for a quest. That's good, because I remember a lot of times the problem with magical items is like so many of them are just default purple items. Which are frankly just not worth it to pick up. But this will let me know if it's teal, that I should pick it up. Alright, my pet is, Your pet is fleeing. fleeing. So let's heal him up. We'll do shift 5, give him that minor potion. Oh, there's a... Boss, uh something over there. 
Right, so you can see these are just default. Which at this point in the game, I need all the cash I can get, so of course I'm going to pick it up. So that dagger, that's something new. Maybe I should use it. I don't have any identify because I used it already on the uh, the whatever it's called. Ooh, that's cool. That spike door. I like how that looks. All right, snipe this globopus. Eh, my pet's fleeing already, so I gotta heal him again. Two theater. I'm not careful, I'm gonna take too much damage. He's doing something. <laughs> These Glopticuses are so funny. Agog's <laughs> Agog's amethyst stud of stone. Alright, so that's another quest done. We probably have one more. Yes, activate the shrine. Hopefully they've changed Shrine Quest a little bit, because they were pretty much worthless, honestly, in the past, last game. Drink up, pet. So I do notice that they're locusts, as uh, described in the introduction. <laughs> yeah, I think as I mentioned before, my character really caused the problems here. Uh, I think with... Uh, Grove, the original game, he sort of came there and rescued the town from the dungeon, or the monster at the, the bottom of the dungeon. The last game, there was some traveler who tricked my character and caused all these problems. But this game, my character was being dumb and, uh, ooh, get some boots on. Character was being dumb and decided to open the, an ancient tomb. Accidentally, but I mean, still, it's an ancient tomb. All right, fire bats, Gloptibus. I need to get something better than this bow. Could you use this. I mean, it's unidentified. It'll still let me use it. I think. These daggers. That's certainly not worth keeping, but I'll... I could do a hand axe, but I'll do two swords. Which one has the highest? A sword and a dagger. So it still lets me use it, uh, even though it's unidentified. So if I really wanted to, I could figure out what it, the identification was. Okay. There's the stairs. And there's the shrine. Is this an attack the shrine or a defend the shrine? Defend the shrine. Sewer rats are, sewer rats are a little bit more of a problem, not in such a low level. In the previous game, they were not any problem at all. So I'm getting a lot of experience from these, though. I really want to know what happens if this dies, though. Because I've never... never actually let the shrine die. Like, do I fail the quest? I guess it's one of those things kind of like, uh... Oh, you gotta start over, that's what happens. Alright, well now I know. Alright, so if you let it die, you gotta do the whole thing again. That's a good thing to know. I'd never figure that out. Okay, so my pet is fleeing, so I'm gonna give him that, and we'll turn him into that. I 
may actually have some problems with this because that poison is making this a lot harder. So I don't know. It still might die within 26 seconds, even if it doesn't take any more hits. Well, I must say, I am happy that they made this more difficult. Because they were just about worthless in the last game, these quests. Way too easy. Good. So let's finish out this floor. Book of Town Portal is perfect. I don't have to buy one. But it really needs a book of identify. Ah, oh, Light Quiver. Quiver. Ah, oh, it's a back armor. I'm not sure. Quiver must just because it's a rare item. It's not like a specific type of item. Alright, so that should be... It's easy, and... That's not the whole floor. I actually got a little bit more to go if I want to finish it out. And I think to get the level up, it's probably worth it. <coughs> Remember last time, one of the problems we had was going too fast. And, I mean, it may take a little longer to do it this way. But it's surely worth it. Unless I die first. Which I am actually at risk of right now. Hmm. You are exhausted. Okay, well, that was a mistake, so... I'm gonna... Do a quick portal out. Ha. Barely got through that. <clears throat> can revive a fallen ally using a revival spell or potion. Alright, so before I die, which I'm not going to. You feel refreshed. Now get our rewards. The other two are down here. Let's find some level two quests. Level three. I didn't do it. Level two. I didn't do it. So I'll need to upgrade my weapons soon also. You have gained in experience and skill. And I probably have several level ups stacked. Yeah, I have three level ups. You must. Okay, so what I need to do is either buy an identify spell or get a book of identity. Identify. Here we go, it's this guy. Items identified. I don't know how much that cost. But, uh can sell all these. This one's better than that. I'm not using mana right now, but this is going to be better than both of these. 4 to 11, sell, sell. Nice, but not really that good. Um, okay, so we'll bring this book back here. So I need... Mm, I can probably realistically buy a book of identif- or a- some spells to identify. I'm just gonna find who's that guy. He doesn't have it. Um, she's a realm guardian. Librarian. Enchanter. Yeah, it'll take me a while to figure out where everyone is. But I could recruit someone if I wanted for 8,000 gold. How's this work? Ah, come on. You can't tease me like that. Let's say I'm not ready. 
Okay, so who's the magician? This guy. Here we go. Group haste. Yeah, these group spells are seem to be part of this game, an important part of this game. There was that weather item. This looks really cool. Um, I cannot make myself buy it, though. So, let's check where we are right now. Sword. I was kind of thinking of doing Spear. I think Spear would be pretty fun. And I've already got some skill points in it. You must. Let's see if we've got any Spears. No, but I do have this cap. And I certainly need some more defense, so let's buy it. Looks pretty good. Um, short axe. I can dual wield reed spears if I want. Alright, so to level up, I'm just going to sort of do default. We do need some more magic. Because magic is frankly just going to be useful for everything we do. And we'll put that in strength. And... Oops. Let's uh, reset the game. So we can get some more quests. You can see there's me right there. <laughs> this hat does not look good on me. That's for sure. Okay. Please, Level 3, I can't do that. Yeah, I can't afford any of these except for this mysterious cape. It's too cheap to be good, right? Well, I was wrong about that. That's not bad at all. Uh, great mace. This one's too cheap to be good. Not at all. This is really good. Well, <laughs> besides the fact it's a cloth belt, but um, considering the magical components are pretty good. Level 4. It's the white squares. Level four. You think you can help me? Level two. The quest. I have no cash left. Thirty-three golds. Well, I've got a job for you, hero. You have received. Ah, uh, okay. So we're gonna have to escort this guy to level two. And I don't want to forget, I kind of left level 1 in a haste um, as there were enemies surrounding me. So we're going to make a dash down here. What is that thing? It's like a bird dog. The quest is complete. There's two quests done. I don't know how I did that. Oh, I have a bunch of skill points I haven't used. Wow, I got a bunch. Um, dual wielding. Well, that's something I'm doing well, I suppose. Uh, so, like, what's useful? We'll do five in spell casting. This is just, or six, I suppose. Pretty typical. To decide how much I want to use um, these defense, or these magical things. So I'm going to go ahead and five, put the rest in because most of that I have there is just bonuses. Let me get out of here. Disc spell. Energy disc flies straight, inflicting damage on impact. You have learned a new spell. So there's a spear. Whew. Huh. So I might as well get this set up as F1. So we have five, and this is gonna be F. Oops. Let's try the spell out. Well, that did some damage. There was that like Tesla orb summon. Wow, this is quite good. Assuming I can hit it. it seems to be one shot kills. Locked small chest. So I gotta find a key. Gel Optimus. 
Wow, I love this spell. So I wonder if I have to like find a specific key or if I just have a total number of keys that I can use. I love this spell. It feels so powerful. I don't even have to use any weaponry, so I just use these spells. I wonder if it... no, that's too bad. Just sort of send it flying, see who it hits. fun. I like the spell a lot. It's so simple. Sniper. Except it just moves so slowly. I guess that's the one problem with it. I think I do, move, do more damage with this spell than I do with my primary, with my weapons. But part of that is because I have, um, skills invest in this sort of spell already. Grouper. Creeping Widow's not great, but it is better than what he is now. Maybe he's got an ice weapon. Blood Scratch of the Nasher. Beat down. Okay. These Gloptopuses are so funny. I suppose. I think octopuses is a correct term. No octopodes is the one that people always say when they want to sound smart. Smart. I don't know. I don't think it really matters. And there's that boss. I guess the problem with this is it's tough to aim. Perhaps more precisely, it's tough to time it so that you hit. So there's the last quest. Let's uh, pick up whatever experience we can. I told you how much this the spell is just so satisfying to use. It's a good job. Good job. A lot of times the early spells are not that fun to use, but this one is quite good. got a fake card. Still looking for a key. I'm thinking that keys are just items you can find as opposed to specific keys. Just because I haven't seen any. Nice try. Alright, well that was a short little level. Let's catch a couple fish. In the lava. I remember the original fake game, I used to think lava fishing was the best fishing. Another light quiver. This must not be a true rare item, or else we wouldn't have found two of them already on two floors. I guess the items you find lying on the floor, the rare items, I, oops, I think they're a different class of rare items in the sense that their rarity is not as high. So there's some rare items that have a fishing rarity and a default rarity. Because if the default rarity is a thousand, it's never going to spawn. But you can have some items that will have a default rarity of a thousand, but a fishing rarity of like 997. So that means they're never going to spawn um, on the floor or in the dungeon, but the only way to get them is by fishing. So there's some rare items that are like that, and some that aren't. So, um, I think it does affect how expensive they are, how much they sell for. Right, I'll probably catch one more fish. Ooh, I didn't see what that was. A stingerfish? A stagefish? 
looking forward to seeing all the new fish. Alright. You know, watching this lava, it kind of seems like it's clear. See what I'm saying? Because there's like the two separate waves going on at the same time. Because one of them is translucent. It's just the way they chose to do it. But the more I look at it, it looks like there's like stuff floating on it. Which I guess there kind of is. Come on, fish. No one wants to hear me talk about how the lava looks. The problem is, the longer you wait, I think your reaction time starts to go down a little bit. Because you're not, like, as set and ready for it. But I still got that one. Stinker fish. Let's go feline. So these are not new fish, unfortunately. Perhaps we'll find some new fish eventually. Let's identify these items. Strong spear, so I will want to use a spear soon. But I can't. Fi I haven't found one that's good enough. I bet you there's a spell. Oh, I leveled up. I bet you that there's a spell that uh, allows you to unlock these chests. Seems like just the thing that there would be a spell for. Yeah, so you can recruit more allies once you've reached a high enough level, so I probably have to be level 5 or maybe level 10 before it's going to let me do that. Journeyman Cape of Luck. Keep the gem. No, no, no. Why don't we make an arrangement? Level 5. Your pet has grown more skilled. Achievement progress on duty. That's right, this game is on Steam. I'd kind of forgotten about that. And the last guy's up here. So then I'll sell my stuff and I think we will finish up. Your notoriety has grown. Alright. Fame goes up, which means I get more skill points. I have an excess of skill points. And I really should give some of these. Let me check and see. I'm probably never going to get rid of these earrings. They're too good. So the charm magic skill, I think, is something I'm going to keep. I can basically assume that I'm going to keep these earrings on forever, because these are my uh, earrings I pass down. And I'll pass them down to the next one, of course. So this is 16. I've already seen that one. Luck. Sell, sell. I see short dagger of greed. Those are right. That's interesting looking. Honestly, none of those are really worth having right now. Sort. So, let's, uh. To be honest? To be honest? Let's gamble. I feel like it's <laughs> the thing we do all the time. Here we go, number three. don't see it, so I'm going to go ahead and save and reset because I need to get three quests, so I'd like to get three quests. You must. These horn gloves are a little better than what I've got, but I probably should would be better off spending it on this. This is... it's not great. Whoa, look at that. Tower sword. Okay, so, let's get some quests. So I need two more for level three. You have received a quest. All right, escort. We're being followed by Kellen. Yeah, we're a reward. Why don't we make an arrangement? You have received All right, that looks good. Task. All right, this has been Retro Gaming Now, and we got our first start with Fate the Cursed King. It'll take us some time to figure out this game, but already seems pretty promising. 
it's certainly fun to be playing as Zoram's descendant. Alright, it's been Retro Gaming now. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys later.